So we have come to the stage where I've cut all of the basic pieces out and I'm just fine finishing them. Uh, low angle V Nielsen plane is beautiful for this kind of work. It's not essential. A bench is a tool as opposed to a pretty thing. But quite frankly, the more pretty things I have in my life, the better. I'm sure you agree. I will end up using my little low angle block plane to bevel the edges off as well. And this will happen on every single piece of wood on this build. Now, we are going to be draw boring our joints, which basically means that's going to go in there and we're going to have a dowel going there and there all the way through. Now, that means we need to mark out where we're going to cut and then drill a hole right the way through both walls of that cavity, or two holes actually. And then we'll put this inside, mark where the hole's center is on the tenon, and offset that a couple of mil so that the tenon is pulled into the mortise by the tension of the, the dowel, which is called a draw bore. So first things first, I need to mark out where I want that to be. So. I'm going to do it an easy way. That's the edges of my tenon, and I'm going to use the width of my square to give me the position of my hole. The square's just a little bit too long. Okay, so that's where my holes are going to be, and then I want them 10 millimeters inside. So, I'll just mark that out. And then use a brad awl And there we go. I am now going to drill this out on the pillar drill uh, for precision. Onto the pillar drill which is full of other stuff, but uh, it's not in my way today. This is why we use a brad point or a center point drill. It's much easier to find where it's supposed to be going. And I'll put my hand there so you can see it go through. So it's very important to drill right through to the other side. I've drilled through there and obviously there's a little bit of tear out inside my mortise. Once the tear out is removed it's time to figure out which way I'm putting that in. Unfortunately it's all about being pretty. I've made a schoolboy error and I've got a, a gap there, which is sad, but, well, what can you do? So once that's knocked up to the front, it's time to, uh, well, to figure out where the holes are going in that piece. No, I lie, I lie, I lie. This is joint number five. Draw and label everything and also label where the top of the bench is, otherwise, well, I get confused and I don't want to. Now, I've got that. I'm using a bradle bit that's got a center point in there. And I'm not going, I'm not drilling all the way through the tenon at the moment. All I'm going is, 
as far you can feel the drill bit when it starts to cut. I'm only wanting my point to go in. Like that. So now, now comes the fun part. What we want to do is offset those holes. If I drilled it there, that's a horrible pencil. And I can't find a nice one. Ah. If I drill through those holes right there, then there wouldn't be any extra strength imparted apart from, you know, the metal just being there to stop it pulling out. If we drill our holes offset by one or two millimeters, i.e. there, then the metal rod as it goes through is going to pull the joint tighter. And that is draw boring. It's drawing the tenon closer into the mortise. I still have to think about which is the mortise and which is the tenon. Damn it. Anyhow, so that's done. And I need a piece of scrap to drill into. My now offset hole. Obviously the scrap is stopping any tear out and is useful. As is this incredibly light little Triton drill. Clean up any rubbish. And And there we are. Once that's lined up and glue, uh, glued, basically the draw bores will act as the clamps as well. We won't need to clamp anything up. It's going to go together very quickly.